Good morning and welcome to a day in my life as a 21 year old business owner. I own a boba shop, a coffee shop, and a smoothie bar all in one. We're going to work today. I'm in my uniform, my low case uniform. Today I convinced Zach to let me stay home and sleep in and he go and open the shop. So it's currently nine o'clock. Zach got at the shop at like 6 30. my dad's about to come pick me up because my dad works right across the street from our business so sometimes he just brings me to work if i want to sleep in that day and today is a very rare day where i get to sleep in so i go into the shop late and i get to leave the shop late because we have an employee closing today we're finally getting a little teeny little taste of what work life balance is gonna be like and it's amazing the whole first month also we're a month and a week into our shop being open all the content is coming i just have hours and hours of footage of like the renovation process that i have not had the time to sift through and edit but it has been started I promise it's just gonna take a long time so give me some time i'm still getting the hang of it this is the first thing i filmed in a month which is crazy and it feels so weird anyway we've been working like minimum 15 hours a day at the shop so getting a tiny little break where i get to go in late and leave early crazy we have some stuff to do my dad's about to be here so i'm gonna wrap up what i have to do pack all my stuff let's get going good morning and welcome to the espresso machine i'm gonna make myself a latte for some caffeine also sneak peek for what this shop looks like i will i promise i'm gonna have videos coming soon we have these adorable in-house cups i'm gonna fill it up with some ice I like a lot of ice, only because I don't have to pay for it. If I'm anywhere else, I get light ice. <laughs> Whole milk for me. And I'm just gonna do a vanilla latte today. And now we're gonna pull our espresso shot. Latte is made, it's delicioso as always. At this time, I would take my greens, but I forgot them at home. So we're just gonna jump to when I'm at home and we're gonna take them. Thank you so much to Brickhouse Nutrition for sponsoring this video. Field of Greens is made with 100% real fruit and veggies, not extracts like other companies, which is why I love it. It's loaded up with antioxidants, fiber, and prebiotics, and the lemon-lime flavor is sweetened with organic stevia. So I'm gonna take a scoop of this into my cup, and then I'm putting in some water, and then I'm gonna mix it with my electric whisk. So let's chug this real quick. Fun fact, I can't chug anything. So I'm just gonna sip on this for the next like 10 minutes and drink it all up. Brickhouse Nutrition has amazing greens powders and the Field of Greens comes in multiple flavors. Along with the Field of Greens, Brickhouse also has snack bars, vitamins and supplements, and workout recovery supplements. So if you're a fitness girly, get on over there and order some stuff. And you can use the link in my description to get a discount. So if you need some more nutrition in your life, need some more fruits and veggies in your diet, Brickhouse is the way to go. So make sure you use the link in the description to get a discount off your purchase from Brickhouse Nutrition. Thank you so much to Brickhouse for sponsoring this video. It's a few hours later because I forgot I was vlogging today. It's 3.37 and it is time for another little drinkity drink for me. Also today has been so busy, which is why I didn't think of vlogging. I think, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I'm gonna make myself a what should I drink? I don't know. I want another latte, but I feel like that's too much. If I have another latte, that would be my third of the day. It would only be my second. Maybe I just should. I'm gonna make myself a brown sugar I'm fresh make milk with tapioca a London fog. and a shot of espresso. That's a little bit hot. Here's this. My London fog. This is Marissa. What are you making? <laughs> I'm gonna make myself um uh. <laughs> Yes. I'll get there. <laughs> Let's make a brown sugar together. I don't know where to put this. I'll put it right here. With so many angles yeah. in here. Okay. Say hi to the vlog. Oh my god. Oh no, this is my bad side. <laughs> okay, let's get some tappy. Oh. What's up? What's up, yeah. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? This is the same thing that was your mom's? Yes. And now it holds false. 
Well, sometimes he gets a lemonade. Bye, thanks for coming in. You too. You don't like it? Draw with a point, everyone. Thank you. You better use that as a transition. Yours? Yeah. As a transition. I did this. Yeah, what am I supposed to transition that to? I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. Get ready. <laughs> pretty nice. So pretty smooth. Oh. You do not look like you like it. It threw me off real bad. What is it? Is oh, this well. a brown sugar fresh milk with? It doesn't taste bad. I said no. Hello. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones. There's a cloud and an oxalabal. This is so weird. Cute. Shot. Today, I'm going to show you a day in the life of a bobo worker. So usually, we stand here and we find things to keep us busy for a little bit. And then there's usually a big rush, and that's when we make 10 smoothie bowls at one time. <laughs> and then we take a little break, and we try some new drinks. Like this. <laughs> it's not new. It's brown sugar with espresso. And then we have to have our energy for the day. And I'm on my last drop. <laughs> now I'm energized and ready for the rest of the day. <laughs> sure, sure. Oh my Me god. <laughs> what are your dogs? Your drink of the day. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Dogs drink of the day? No, D O D. Dod. Drink oh. of the day. Well, oh, drink have, of day. I have a. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, do you know her order? <laughs> Hello. So it is a few hours later. I don't even know what time it is. It's 7.17. Oh my god, he's drooling all over. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. Oh my god. He's a perfect cat. He's perfection. Oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. We left the store around, I want to say like 5. We went and looked at a car because Zach and I are trying to find a car for while we're home. The guy that helped us renovate our whole store, he knows a bunch of people that have cars. So we went and looked at it and it was a Land Rover. We like it, but we need like more information, need to get it inspected, all the good things. But then we came back here, Zach went back to the shop. So I'm about to start some dinner. We'll see where the night takes us. Zach is home now. Also, I forgot to say that when Zach came home, he brought me home a London fog. Look at our cute little stickers. That's good. Oh my gosh. Oh, look who's jealous. Look who's jealous is Mr. Maru. Current listen is Chapel Roan. And then I'm gonna switch it to Sabrina's new album. Good morning. Last night we ended up watching Emily in Paris. Just went to bed. But I got Zach hooked on Emily in Paris. Thank goodness. I was trying to convince him because the new season just came out. And he did not want to. And I was like, you have to watch at least three episodes. And then if you don't like it, we can stop. After 20 minutes of the first episode, he was obsessed. So if you want your boyfriend or fiance or husband to go watch Emily in Paris, make him do that. And he'll love it. They just think it's a little cutesy, little rom-com, stupid type of show. And it's 
so freaking good. Okay, anyway, I just showered and my sister lives down the road. She works for us and she couldn't get a ride because she's only 15. So Zach had to come and pick her up and get my stepmom's car because we're taking a little trip tonight, which never happens. And I'm very excited and obviously you're coming along. But since he was already coming home, he brought me a pumpkin spice latte. And I also got a smoothie bowl. It's a tropical smoothie bowl with coconut sliced almonds, rice puffs, pineapple, and mango. I am home today because we have an opener, a closer, and then there's like one to two hours where Haley can't be alone because she's only 15. Zach is just gonna hang out there, work on his social media marketing agency, then he'll be home. And we're gonna take our little trip. Zach is actually home already. It's like 1.30 and he left early because one of our other employees is working today and we didn't know that. <laughs> like, we just forgot that she was working. So he was able to come home early, but we have an hour and a half drive-ish to our dinner for tonight. We're gonna go to some exciting places that I haven't been months. Let's get going. Look at that. Gorgeous. I like that one. Gorgeous. Whoa, there's a human on it. Wow. This one's really pretty. This one's pink. Zach is insisting that we buy this. We um, have to. Yeah. I guess it just fell into our hands. She's gorgeous. I'm so excited. I need to read this. I still have to read Reckless. I haven't read in a month. This is the mall that we came to every time we were in this town so that we could get boba. This mall is very crucial for us. No Maybe. boba today though. Chicken. A Dave's hot chicken opened here. Or it is open. But it's a little piece of Nashville here. That's so exciting. We didn't love it, but that's kind of like, kind of have to go because like, mems. We're not going tonight, but maybe, maybe next time we're here. At the restaurant and it looks really, really cute. It's got fairy lights on the outside or not like fairy, there are little lights on the outside. And it's adorable. It's got a frozen margarita and brisket poutine. Is it good? We just got our tray. This is for two people. No, this is a six person one. We got brisket, pulled pork, and chicken, mac and cheese, greens, mashed potatoes, and maple applesauce. Thank you, really good. <laughs> I want to try a piece of cornbread. Yum. Applesauce. Tastes like Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. Apple slices. Okay, potatoes. Mmm. Wait, is this spoon? My storage is full, so we're on Zach's phone now. Mmm. Wow. I don't think I was going to like these. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> wow, that's spicy. Wow, that's really spicy. Mac and cheese. Dinner was impeccable, incredible, fantastic, phenomenal, incredible, amazing, wonderful, all of the above. How was dinner? Phenomenal. <laughs> the best. Everything was so good. The greens really grew on me. I ate those up. The potatoes, best potatoes I've probably ever had because I don't really like potatoes. I num nums the crap <laughs> out of those. <laughs> we're going into Trader Joe's now and we're gonna have a little shopping spree. Krista, this one is for you. Ten of these, as requested. Okay, we spent some money. It was only $80, and we got a giant bag of stuff. I was pretty surprised. We were only in there for like 15 minutes, and we got almost everything. There was one thing they didn't have, which were mango sticky rice crisps. Look at those. They look so good, and I've always wanted to try mango sticky rice. I'll do a haul when we get home, of course. But now we're gonna head to Crumble. This week's cookies look so freaking good. Milk chocolate chip, which is my favorite cookie of all time in the whole entire universe. There is a pumpkin square that sounds heavenly. Iced oatmeal. I love oatmeal cookies. You know what time it is? Crumble time! 
Look at these. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been that excited for crumble flavors in a while. See, I'm not that excited. Okay, you're no, gonna I, devour this. It's chilled and you love a chilled cookie. I know, that's the only one I'm excited this one? about. <laughs> oh, right at the edge. Like whipped cream on top. Maybe there's fall colors over there. What did you just say? Fall colors. Look at the difference. Oh, mmm, wow. I don't like that, and I knew I wasn't gonna like that, but the rest is like, Ooh. yeah, seven. I love oatmeal. Dink it. Dink, mm hmm. It's warm, it's oatmeal y, it's spicy. Mm. Wait, what would you rate them? Oh, what oatmeal, if, six. Oatmeal, eight. That's like a five. Seven for the She's more butter. generous. Are you ready for this? Oh my god. Yum. That's so good. It's a six. You're joking. No, I don't six. like it. Six. That's like a nine. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to do my favorite of all time. A classic chocolate chip that weighs like a pound. Your favorite's always around. It's so thick I need to drink. This is drink. a nine. <laughs> this, is a, a time. this is the best in the box so far. It always is. We've got the that pumpkin. You notice taking a bite of each cookie is basically eating a cookie this fast? Shut up. Okay, ready? <laughs> ah, take your bite. <laughs> I have to have more in my head. I thought it was going to be I like... I feel like the bars are better. The pumpkin cookies I like. A six. I really like the chilled one. I think I might have to also give it a six or six and a half. Just because it's so rich that I don't really want to take another bite. And all the other ones, I took multiple bites. So yeah, at home for the Trader Joe's haul. It's time for our haul. Okay, so first of all, this is all of our barbecue that we have left. It's stuffed. It's full. We've got a lot. We've got The Grandest Game, as you saw, by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is part of the Inheritance Game series. For Trader Joe's, that Jack got some maple breakfast stout beer, cookies and cream pretzel slims, and then dark chocolate covered pretzels. These we discovered when we were in San Diego. They are sour cream and onion, lentil and rice snacks, and they are very good. Next up, we have lots of pasta. We always stock up at Trader Joe's for pasta. Macaroni, farfai, and penne. Rigatoni with asparagus, broccoli, green peas in a creamy sauce, which sounds right up our alley. Then got some orange chicken, and you know the drill veggie fried rice but we got six of them as always mac and cheese some parmesan pastry puffs which i've had before love them yearly staple maple leaf cookies with the maple filling so good and then we got these herb de province triangles they're little like puff pastry triangles and they have so many layers they're so such a nice texture. Last but not least, we got the chili onion crunch sprinkle. It's the seasoning. I am scared to try the actual kind because I don't like onions and I don't really like chilies. So I feel like the actual chili onion crunch, I won't like at all. But as a seasoning, I think I'm gonna love the flavors. And if I can control the amount more by like sprinkling, I think it's I think it's gonna be a winner. That's everything from our haul. We're gonna end the day by watching Emily in Paris again. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I hope you loved it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Remember to use my link in the description to get a discount on your Brick House Nutrition order. But I will see you in the next vlog. Peace.